Hi, this is Jenk from Electron, and this is the OctaTrack Mark II. The OctaTrack is an 8-track dynamic performance sampler. It offers 8 audio tracks and 8 MIDI tracks. On the Mark II model, we've improved the screen, the buttons, the encoders, and the inputs. We've also added a number of buttons for direct access to features such as parts, audio editing, and projects. We've also added the trick conditions on the Mark II. And this is, of course, available for the Mark I models. So let's hear the Octatrack Mark II in action now. On this track, I've sliced this beat up and assigned different slice points per step into the sequencer. With this feature, you can easily and very quickly remix any type of audio you've placed inside the Octatrack. One of my favorite features of the Octatrack is that each track offers you three LFOs. This is for the 8 audio tracks and the 8 MIDI tracks. The first LFO is assigned to the pitch. The second one is assigned to the filter. And then the third one is assigned to the comb filter. What's different with the third LFO is that I've used the Octatrax LFO designer to come up with my own custom LFO waveform. And I've used that for the LFO number 3. This is a great way to experiment and come up with different sounds using your own samples. Let's unmute these two tracks here, which offers melody content to the pattern. I've used filter and delay and other effects on these tracks. The Octatrack offers two effect blocks per track, and you could choose effects such as reverb, chorus, delay, flanger, phaser, and many more. Let's move to the next track. And on this track, I've assigned different samples per step into the sequencer. This is a great way to combine all the samples that you have inside the Octatrack in a single track. So on this step, I have the kick sample assigned. Here I have another kick sample assigned. And here I have a snare sample assigned. And many other samples assigned further on into the sequence. Let's unmute the last track here. And on this track, I have a guitar loop. What's different with this track is that I've sliced up the guitar sample and I've assigned the LFO to the slice parameter. And this LFO depth is assigned to the fader. So as I move the fader up, I will get different slices of the guitar. And this can be seen on the screen. And the fader can do many more things because you can assign any parameter from any track into the fader and these can be stored as in the scenes so let's take a look what scenes i have here you can also totally change the sound of what you're playing and maybe come up with a different track The Octatrack offers Q outputs, and to access these Q outputs, you press the Q and the track button. And now the beat is going through the Q output into the FX chain that we have with the pedals here. And the Octatrack 8 audio tracks are time stretched, so if I change the BPM now, everything will be still in sync. So that's the Octatrack Mark II. Go to electron.se for further information. Thank you for watching.